So you're going to scramble some sentences. I mean, some words. Okay, here you are, Luis. Uh, you have 10 words. Uh, this is vocabulary that we learned in Unit 4. Try to remember uh, the unit about celebration, the vocabulary that we learn in lessons A, lesson B. Okay, so you have these words. So I'm gonna give you, can you do it in like two minutes, Luis? Mm, yes. Okay, so let's do it, Luis, go ahead. Okay. Some of these words. You have one minute. Did you finish, Luis? No. No? Mm -hmm. How many do you have? Four. Only four, Luis? Yes. Why, Luis? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you an extra minute. Hurry up. Okay.
Okay, time is over, Luis. So let's see what you have. Uh, number one. Weddings. Two. Birthdays. Three. I don't know. Okay. It's an activity that you can do while listening to music. Dancing? Yes, dancing. Number four? Fireworks. Yes, number five? Diploma. Six? Graduation. Seven? Holidays. Yes, eight? Uh, I don't know. You have an idea for number eight? Mm-mm. Um, okay, let's see. Do you have a girlfriend, Luis? Yes. Okay, let's imagine that you have two years with your girlfriend. So you are going to celebrate your second... Anniversaries? Anniversaries, yes. Anniversaries. Number nine. Um, I don't know. Okay, it's for example, it's an event when you go to see maybe your favorite singer, your favorite band. Concert? Yes. And number 10? Reception. Excellent, can you see? Yes. So this is uh, what we saw in uni four. So as I said before, we're going to begin today with the unit seven. So this is unit seven. So let's go to your student book, page 65. This is unit seven. Okay, unit seven is called going away. Okay, that's the name unit seven, going away. And here we have the learning objectives. It says in unit seven, you learn how to. So can you read the learning objectives, please, please? Okay. Mm. Use infinitives to keep rest reasons. Use, Reason. it. Uh -huh. Use it in sentences like it's easy to do. Ask for and keep advice and suggestions. Talk about vacation and getting ready for a trip. Respond to suggestions. Use I guess to sound less short about something. Okay, so this is what we're going to learn in this unit, unit seven. So we're talking about going away, okay? It means when you travel or when you go out of the city, okay? You go to another place. And here we have some pictures, four pictures. And there is a box that says, before you begin, brainstorm. Think of three fun places to go on a trip three different ways to travel, three things you always take on a trip, and three fun things to do on a trip. Okay, so let's begin with number one. Okay, Luis, tell me three fun places to go on a trip. Cancun. Which one? Cancun. Ajá. Uh -huh. Los Cabos. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Campeche. Okay, three different ways to travel. Uh, bus? Again? Bus? Walk? Ba bus? Yes. Bus, uh huh. Uh, um, uh, uh -huh. Two more. Car. Car, uh huh. An air airplane. Airplane. Yes, correct. Airplane. Now, uh, three things you always take on a trip. Uh, um, photos, pictures. Um, no, 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 not in that way. Three things you always take with you when you go on a trip. For example, yeah. uh, if I go on a trip, well, I always take my cell phone. <laughs> okay. And I take money. 
How about you? Three things that you take on a trip. My cell phone. Uh-huh. Uh, clothes. Uh-huh. And money. Okay, excellent. And the last one. Uh, three fun things to do on a trip. Uh, go out. Uh-huh. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. Um, now the place. Okay, all right. So let's see. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about these topics. Think about your last vacation, okay? So where did you go on your last trip? I went to Merida. To Merida. Yes. How did you get to Merida? Um, by airplane. By plane, okay. Uh, tell me three things that you took with you when you went to Merida. Money. Uh -huh. My cell phone. Mm -hmm. um, and clouds. Okay. And tell me three fun things that you did in Merida. I... I saw my friends. Uh -huh. I saw my uncles. Uh -huh. And I went to shopping. You went shopping. Okay. Uh, did you visit the pyramids? Uh, no. You didn't go to Chichen Itza? Uh, yes. So? Okay, so let's see. I have some other questions. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we did this part. Uh, that's it. I confused. So now let's move to the, okay, lesson A. Okay, lesson A, it's for getting ready. Okay, so here we have a picture of Alicia and Rita. Okay, so they are at home, they are having a conversation. Okay, the first exercise, 1A says, look at Rita's to-do list for her upcoming trip. What other things do you need to do before a trip? Make a list. Okay, so Rita is going on a trip and as you can see, she has a to-do list. Uh, well, she has a list of activities that she has to do before going on a trip. Can you read that list, please? Yes. To do, go online to find a flight, get a new suitcase and pack, mm -hmm. take photo ID, find pass passport, Call for a cab or get a bus. So, schedule. 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 Uh -huh. Check on the weather. Okay, so these are um, her ideas. What I want you to do, Luis, I want you to think of three, three more things that she has to do, okay, before going on a trip. Okay, if you want to, you can write it down. I'm going to give you... One minute, two minutes, and then you're gonna tell me your idea, okay? Three okay. more things that you can do before going on a trip. So let's do it.
ready? Yes. Okay, so tell me your ideas, please. Uh, prepare the suitcase. Uh -huh. Bring money or get money. Uh -huh. And find a hotel. <laughs> yes, you're right. Money, it's important. <laughs> okay, when well, our exercise says, Lise, what is Rita going to do on her trip and practice the conversation? Well, I'm going to play the audio, so you're going to listen to it, and you're going to follow the conversation in your books. Okay, Luis? Okay. Yes, let me look for the audio. Page 66, Unit 7, Going Away, Lesson A, Getting Ready, 1, Getting Started, B, Listen, What is Rita going to do on her trip? Practice the conversation. Are you ready for your trip? Where do we go? Yeah, kind of, but I still have a lot to do. I need to go shopping to get a new suitcase, and I still have to go online to find a cheap flight. Is it easy to find bargains on the internet? Well, it's not too hard. You just have to do some research. So, where are you going exactly? Well, first I'm going to San Juan to see my relatives, and then we're all going someplace to go snorkeling. That sounds exciting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, well, uh, let's see. First of all, let's practice this conversation together. Okay, Luis, you're going to be Alicia and I'm going to be Rita. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let's begin. Are you ready for your trip to Puerto Rico? Yeah, kind of, but I still have a lot to do. I need to go shopping to get a new suitcase, and I still have to go online to find a cheap flight. Is it easy to find bargains on the internet? Well, it's not too hard. You just have to do some research. So where are you going exactly? Well, first I'm going to San Juan to see my relatives, and then we're going someplace to go snorkeling. That sounds exciting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, now we're going to switch roles. Now I'm going to begin. Are you ready for your trip to Puerto Rico? Yeah, kind of, but I still have a lot of to do. I need to go shopping to get a new suitcase, and I still have to go online to find a cheap flight. Is it easy to find bargains on the internet? Well, it's not too hard. You you just have to do some research. So where are you going exactly? Well, first I'm going to San Juan to see my relatives and then we're all going someplace to go snorkeling. That sounds exciting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, excellent. So now um, I have some questions for you. So listen, question number one. Why does Rita need to go shopping? Because she needs a new suitcase. To get a new suitcase. Okay, number two. Why does she have to go online? Because she needs to find a flight, a cheap flight. Yes, and the last one, number three. Why is she going to San Juan? Um, she going to see her relatives. She's going to see her relatives. Okay. Now, Luis, let's do the exercise C. Complete the sentences, please.
Hey. Ready? Yes. Okay, so can you read number one, please? Uh, Krita's planning a trip to Puerto Rico to see her relatives. Number two. Rita still has to go on the internet to find some research on cheap flights. To find. No, we're going to check that one in a moment. Okay, number three. It's not hard to find bargains online. Okay, to find bargains online. Okay, number two, once again. Rita still has to go on the internet to... To do? To do... Yes, to do some research. Uh, let me look. Right. So as you can see, okay, it's here. For example, she says, I need to go shopping to get a suit. And, uh, let me underline first some sentences. Okay, well, here I underline some sentences. Uh, some of them are in pink, the other ones are in blue. Let's start with the first one. I need to go shopping to get a new suitcase, okay? Then, number two, I still have to go online to find a cheap flight. Do you pay attention? The sentences that I underline in blue they are showing the reason why this person is doing a certain activity. For example, in number one, the activity is I need to go shopping. The reason is to get a new suitcase. Number two, I still have to go online. And the reason is to find a cheap flight. Let's continue with number three. I'm going to San Juan, this is my activity. The reason why I'm going to San Juan is to see my relatives. And the last one, we're all going someplace. And the reason is to go snorkeling. So as you can see, we're going to use infinitives. What is an infinity? When you see a verb uh, with the preposition to, for example, to get, to find, to see, to go. So those are infinitives. So we are going to use infinitives to give reasons, okay? Reasons why. Uh, for example, I can say after class, okay, after class, I'm going to the OXO to get some bread. So that is my activity. I'm going to the OXO, and the reason why, to get some bread. Okay, so do you understand this part, Luis? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I, I guess I have some exercises here. Let me see. So we can practice today. Yes. Okay. I have these ones. Well, here I have some sentences in blue. Let's begin with these three sentences. Uh, number one, it says, I want to go online later. Number two, I have to go to the store after class. And number three, I want to learn English. So this information is incomplete. You will have some activities. What you are going to do, you're going to complete these sentences saying the reason or the reasons why you are doing this. 
Example, I want to go online later to do my homework. I have to go to the store after class, well, as I said before, to get some bread. I want to learn English to understand the TV series, okay? So these are my examples. Now tell me your ideas, please. Um, I want to go online later to, to see some videos. Okay, number two. I have to go to the store after class to buy, to get some snacks. Okay. And I want to learn English to learn, to learn more language. To learn a new language. Okay. Use a new language. Okay. Now pay attention. Here I have more sentences, but in this case, we're using uh, the pronoun it. I mean, it's, we're using it plus an adjective. Okay. Example it's easy, it's difficult, it's interesting, it's fun. So we're going to complete these sentences uh, using infinitives. Pay attention. Well, for me, it's easy to swim. Okay, that's for me. It's easy to swim. Number two, it's difficult to speak German. <laughs> I think so. It's difficult to speak German. It's interesting to meet new people. And it's fun to watch movies. Okay, now it's your turn, please. Um, it's easy to go running. Okay. It's difficult to speak French. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to speak English. Uh -huh. It's fun to play soccer. To play soccer, perfect. Okay. Um, questions, Luis? No, teacher. No, I, I think this is easy to understand. Now let's go back to the book. Okay. Here. Well, on the next page, you have the grammar chart. The grammar chart is about infinitives for reasons, and we have it plus adjective plus two. Okay, now I'm going to read these sentences, and you're going to repeat after me, okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my relatives. I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my relatives. I need to go shopping to get a suitcase. I need to go shopping to get a suitcase. I have to go online to find a flight. I have to go online to find a flight. Is it easy to find bargains online? Is it, is it easy to get bargains online? It's easy to do. It's easy to do. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. Now let's pay attention. We have a box that says in conversation. The top five adjectives in the structure is plus adjective plus two are hard, nice, easy, good, and important. So this means that these adjectives are like the most common to use, okay, with this structure. Now let's go to the exercise A. It says, imagine you are planning a trip to a foreign country. Make sentences about things you have to do. Then match each sentence with a question someone might ask you. So what you're going to do here, first of all, uh, we have two columns, okay? In column number one, well, the sentences are not complete. First, they're going to complete the sentence. 
Example number one says to get a phrase book, learn some expressions. So it's like this I need to get a phrase book to learn some expressions. Now, this is with letter E. Is it necessary to know the language? So that's what you're going to do. So if you have your notebook or on a piece of paper, I want you to complete the sentences and then you're going to match the columns, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's do it, Luis, please. Ready. Ready. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's begin. 
And number two? I have to call the embassy to ask about the visa. Visa, and letter, that's the letter. Letter A, is it hard to get a visa? Uh -huh. Number three? I have to go on the internet to get a flag. Letter B, is it safe to pay online with a credit card? Okay. Number four? I'm going to call a travel agent, agent, to, huh? agent to get a hotel room. Letter F, is it good to make reservation in advance? Advance, huh? Um, I have to buy a white book. Guide book. White book to right. find out about trains. Letter C, is it, is it easy to get around? And number six, I need to go to the bank to change some money. Letter D, is it safe to carry a lot of cash? Okay, now let's pay attention. Um, here we have the questions. Now I'm going to ask you these questions, okay? Try to give complete answers. Don't say you only yes it is, no it's not. No. Try to give complete responses. So think about Mexico, okay, Acapulco, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's begin with number one, question E. Um, is it necessary to know the language? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, uh. You can give a reason. Yes, it is. To to meet people, maybe. To what? Meet people. To meet people. Okay, it would be. And number two is letter A. Um, is it hard to get a visa? Remember, think about Mexico. Is it hard to get a visa to come yes. to Mexico? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. To have uh, identification or ID? To, yes, you need to have an ID. Okay. Uh, number three, is it safe to pay online with a credit card? Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, it is. Uh -huh. To reserve the flight, maybe. Good, yes, to get a flight. <laughs> okay, the next one, letter F. Is it good to make reservations in advance? Uh, uh, what do you think? Is it good to make reservations in advance? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. To get a long time? Yes. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it easy to get around? For example, here in Acapulco, is it easy to get around? Uh, yes, it is. Uh huh. To get around. Uh, for example, you can take what in Acapulco? You can take bus mm -hmm. or cab. A cab, okay. Uh, let's see, letter D. Is it safe to carry a lot of cash? No, it's not. No. So, uh -huh. uh, Why not? To security? security? Because of your security. 
Okay, so let's see. Um, hi, Jesus. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. I'm fine. Late. Oh, very late. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me see. Let me see that. Okay, well, and here I have some sentences. Uh, they are not in order. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to write these questions. I mean, yes, there are questions. You're going to write down these questions in the correct order. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let's do it, please.
Are you finishing? Yes. Yes, teacher. Did you finish or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's see, Luis, what do you have for number one? Is it important to know another language? Okay, number two, Jesus? Is it hard to learn Chinese? Yes, the next one, Luis? It's good to practice English with friends. Yes. Continue, Jesus? It's nice, it's nice to walk a hotel before you trip? Yes. Uh, Luis? It's easy to find bargains online. Okay, Jesus? Is it necessary a guidebook to buy? Uh, no. Once again, is it necessary to buy a guidebook? Yes, to buy a guidebook. Uh, Luis? Is it difficult to get around here? Mm -hmm. And the last one, Jesus? It's not difficult to do. Okay. One more time, remember, I'm going to ask you these questions. I want you to think about Acapulco. Think about a tourist that comes to Acapulco. Tourist that comes to Acapulco. So let's see, uh, Luis, is it important to know another language? Yes, it is to meet people. Okay, for you say to meet people. How about you, Jesus? Um, yes, because when you need help, uh -huh. we, you can, you can talk with another people. Yes, you can speak to another people. Okay, correct. Okay, Luis, is it hard to learn Chinese? I don't know. <laughs> so what do yeah. you think? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And what do you say, Jesus? Is it hard to learn Chinese? I'm agree with Luis. <laughs> <laughs> you agree with Luis. Okay, let's see. Uh, Luis, is it necessary to buy a guidebook if you visit Acapulco? Mm, no, it's not. You said that no? Mm -hmm. uh, why not? Because it's easy to get around. Uh, what's your opinion, Jesus? Um, there's a lot of taxis. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can take a taxi and say him, um, I wanna go to the beach and I wanna go to the to the market. Okay, okay. So let's see, Luis, is it difficult to get around here? No, it's not difficult. You said that it's not, Jesus. If you are of Acapulco, no. No, but I mean a tourist. Uh, maybe, yes, because they don't meet here. Yes, they don't know the city. So let me see. Now let's continue. Okay, here we have some sentences. They are not complete. Uh, remember, uh, this lesson, lesson A, it's 
about going away. We're talking about going on a trip and things that we have to do before or during a trip. So I want you to think about places in order to complete these sentences. For example, you can say, um, it's fun to go snorkeling in Cancun. Um, it's dangerous to go out at night in Acapulco, okay? Um, it's unusual to get enchiladas in Germany, for example, something like that, okay? So think about places around the world or maybe places here in the Mexican Republic and try to complete these sentences. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, yes, so yes. Write, your, write down your sentences and then you're gonna tell me your ideas. Okay, so let's do it.
Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's begin with you, Luis. Can you read your sentences, please? It's fun to go snorkeling in Los Cabos. Okay. It's dangerous to go out at night in Cuernavaca. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to speak Chinese in Mexico. <laughs> and it's unusual to get pozole in US. Yes, you're right. Thank you. You are great. Jesus, it's your turn. Okay, teacher. It's fun to swim in, in cold water. Okay, to swim. Okay. Swim. Thanks, yeah. Huh? Um, it's dangerous to travel at night in Mexico. Uh -huh. It's difficult to ride a skate. Um, it's unusual that there is cold in Acapulco. It's unusual what? It's unusual that it's cold in Acapulco. Uh, no, pay attention to something, Jesus. Um, in this lesson, we are learning how to use infinitives to give reasons. When we use to plus a verb, like, for example, Luis says, it and it's difficult to get pozole in USA. So now it's your turn. It's unusual to, and you mentioned, an activity. So it's unusual to so go running in Alaska. Okay, it could be. Yes, thank you. We're using two and a verb in simple form. Okay. Questions about this, guys? No, teacher. No, Jesus? No. No, teacher. No, okay. Well, now let's go back to the student book. Okay, so we are on page uh, 67. It says speaking naturally, reduction of two. Exercise 3A says listen and repeat. Notice the reduction of two in the sentences above. I'm going to play the audio. I just want you to listen. Just listen and then we're going to listen and repeat the information in the box. Okay, let me look for the, this audio. Page 67. Just listen. Speaking naturally. Reduction of two. A. Listen and repeat. Notice the reduction of two in the sentence. Okay, well now let's repeat after me, please. Is it expensive to visit your country? Is it expensive to visit your country? Well, it's hard to find cheap hotels. Well, it's hard to find uh, cheap hotels. Okay, now this question is for you. Let's begin with Luis. Um, is it expensive to visit your country? No, it's not. Like to say more. Uh -huh. To to visit my country. Mm -hmm. uh, why not? Uh, because it's very cheap. It's very cheap. Okay, that's right. Okay, how about you, Jesus? Is it expensive to visit your country? No, it's not because there is a sorry, it's a a cheap place. You can find everything. Yes. Um. <laughs> okay, that's right. Well, now let's do the exercise. B. It says listen to questions from two people who are planning to visit your country. 
complete their questions. So listen carefully and complete the exercise B. Okay? Okay. Do you want to listen again? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Number one, do you need to speak the language? To travel around. Yes, to travel around. Number two, is it okay? I don't know. Jesus? What's the number two? Is it okay? Uh, to drink the water. Yes, to drink the water. <laughs> Number three, do you have? Mm -hmm. Number three. Who's got the number three? Idea. And uh, no, do you have Jesus? Do you have to have? Uh -huh. Do you have what? I don't know. IV. You have to have ID with you all the time. Number four, is it safe? To go out late at night? Yes, to go out late at night. And number five, can you use a credit card? To pay in restaurants? Yes, to pay in restaurants. Correct. Okay, now you're going to practice uh, with this question, they're going to ask and answer these questions. Remember, think about, you can think about Mexico, you can think about here, Acapulco, okay? And you're going to answer this. So we want to start with you. Luis, ask these questions to Jesus, please. Do you need to speak the language to travel around? Uh, yes, I do, because if you wanna know a new place is necessary. Is it okay to drink the water? Um, yes, it is. Because it's good for, for our health. 
Do you have to have ID with you all the time? Can you repeat the question, please? Do you have to have ID with you all the time? Teacher, I don't understand this question. Do you know what an ID is? Do you remember that? ID? ID? Ah, your ID, your identification. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Um, no, I don't, I don't have ID. Now pay attention to the question. Do you have to have ID with you all the time? If you are a tourist, is it necessary to carry your ID with you all the time? Yes, it is necessary. Okay, continue, please, please. Is it safe to go out late at night? Uh, it depends. If it's here in Acapulco, I don't know. Maybe in another country, yes. Okay. Uh, can you use a credit card to pay in restaurants? Yes, you can. Okay, now it's your turn, Jesus. Ask these questions to Luis, please. Do you need to speak the language to travel around? Um, yes, because you can take a conversation with another person. Uh -huh. um, is it okay to drink the water? Mm, yes, it is because it's necessary for your health. Uh, do you have to have ID with you all the time? Mm, yes, it's necessary. Is it safe to go out late at night? No, it's not. It's dangerous. Can you use a credit card to pay in restaurants? Mm, yes, you can. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, questions, guys, about this part? No, teacher. Okay, well, uh, with this exercise, we finish with the lesson A. As you can see in lesson A, we learn how to use infinitives to give reasons. Uh, let me see, let me raise this part. Okay, infinitives to give reasons. And we also learn how to use it plus adjective plus Two. Okay, so the homework for tomorrow is going to be the pages 50 and 51 in your workbook. Okay, pages 50, 51 in your okay, workbook. Teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, questions about this lesson, guys? No, teacher. No? Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, well, thank you for coming. Thank you for your participation. Okay, so see you tomorrow. No, today is Thursday, right? Yes. Okay, I, okay so see you on Monday. Monday. See you next week. Thank okay, you, Okay, have a nice weekend, guys. Take care, please. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.